If you're someone like Pat, for instance, someone whose identity is often synonymous with both frying computer chips and carrying a sledgehammer, right. you might be in the market for a notebook that's built to take a beating. Might be. Yes. Here's it. You want to hear a deep, dark secret? What? I have, like, broken one notebook in really? seven years. You know who breaks notebooks is Jim Latterback. Jim Latterback. My old boss, Jim Latterback, used to three break notebooks Three weeks constantly. and out, basically, yeah. was his rule. Anything that lasted more than three weeks, we could tell it was a miracle notebook. But he throws them. He would throw them in the suitcase and everything. I mean, even him... In, him opening the lid on a notebook for some reason it, it just smashed. Yeah. So we got actually we we started seeing these all over the place, right? All the news organizations were talking about them. In, 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 tough in the books, war. tough books. books. Well, actually, there's we got a couple here. Itronics Go Book Two is over there, right in front of you, and I have the Panasonic Tough Book CF28. These look tough. They I mean, look I tough. Well, that. and that's part of it. Like. This one looks, it's got the very military yeah. look. They're all, yeah. this is what they call ruggedized. Mm. And the Tough Book's a little shiny. It's got that, you know, I want to be a Hummer H2 when I grow up. It's like a larval Hummer. Or, or it's kind of trying to look like a, an anvil case a little bit. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, it's a, you know, and, and it's, it's pretty interesting. But the idea is like, look, we got it running. I'm a Hummer. Well, the idea, though, is these are built a little differently. And one of the things they do is they design these with mil-spec 810-F in mind. That means these the are actually U.S. military specification for, for environmental wow. uh, damages. This, the the GOAT book, as far as I know, is actually certified to mil-spec. The tough book, this particular tough book, I think is designed, but I don't know if it's actually certified. But something like that would be like being able Ooh. to drop it from 10 <laughs> inches over and over again. Yeah, it pains you to watch I it. I hate to it? see that because a normal notebook, you're really risking your hard drive. Right, and everything else. Yeah. And the idea, though, is you take a look at these, turn it over on its side and, and hold it forward. Look at these. They're big and thick and they're ridiculous. This, like, right at just about, Heavy. just under eight pounds on this one, Heavy. just under nine pounds on this one. And they're really, they're reinforced a lot better than your regular notebook. This is the kind of notebook Arnold would carry if you could carry a notebook. Exactly. So flip that one back open. All right. What's we interesting, carry though, is, is Millspec. They also do the, the environmental testing. Okay. So we're gonna one of them, the go book's supposed to be able to stand four inches of rain per hour or like a 40 psi blast for 10 minutes straight. Should we so do that? We're gonna do something. That Should you I close do. it or leave it no, open? Leave it open. Just All hold right. it over there. Let's put the notebook in here and pour. So this is not oh! something you would do with a regular oh! notebook. Oh, I sense crazy. injuries. Yeah. Oh, I expect injuries is right, Bob. Now it's... take a look at the back of that. One of the things you'll notice is like there's little rubber tabs, and these are all replaceable you that seals all, all your ports. But this does have a fan. Uh, it does fan have a fan. I hope that the water. Why don't you pour water straight into that? I'm not going to pour water straight into that, but we will dump some sand back oh, here. Oh, my God. Here, let's rub it in. Yeah, okay. you like, you're having fun. Turn yeah, the lid up so we don't good. splash All right, that's good. I know that's how much you hate good. being splashed. All right, yeah. But the uh, idea, now, now, let me put you something. <laughs> These are more resistant, right? They, they, I mean, like negative 10 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. You know, the operating ranges are greater. Some of the latest, uh, the mill specs, are actually looking at being able to be sprayed with a steam cleaner in case there's been a biohazard contamination so that you can basically clean oh, everything out. We, we've got to steam clean this. This thing's dirty now. Well, we'll just, again. Oh, just rinse it off. That's so the right. idea here, right. Just hose it off. <laughs> just hose Leo and Where's the Where's my lemon down? drop? I think we could just pour a little lemon drop But in the there. idea, though, is like you yeah. notice something. It's, you know, it hasn't stopped running. The screen hasn't fried. It's no, pretty it happy. Hasn't. It's, it hasn't done a thing. So the idea of these is these are built a little tougher. Now, look, they're not indestructible. For example, I can guarantee you that if I hit it in the middle of the screen with the sledgehammer, oh, no. it's going to stop. Relax, Leo. Right. I'm not okay. going You're to not hit do it. That? Okay. It's not designed <laughs> for that. Lindsay says if I have physical violence, my head won't hurt so much. Uh, you know what I mean? There's, there's things that these are not designed to do. However, I bet the 10-foot drop that killed that gateway notebook I had, because it, it fell four feet to a flight of concrete stairs and bounced sideways down. It's the one notebook I killed. It might survive this. It would, pro it would probably surprise, survive yeah. that. Although we have to say, well, the one thing I did break in our testing so far when we dropped it was from a four-foot drop, we actually... You broke the handle a little bit. We broke the handle a little bit. We broke the little aluminum oh, rod outside no the handle. Oh, that's no big deal. You could fix that. That's okay, because you know what? See, that's we what gaffer's tape, tape is for. Or duct tape if you're at home. God bless you. We got an article up on the screensavers. Gives some links to some of the mil spec testing sites. Talks about these two notebooks and some of the things we've noticed. Check it out. I think you'll enjoy it. Leo, don't tape over the sand. Stay tuned.